Now, have you ever looked at something and thought, what am I even seeing? Well, you're not alone. Optical illusions are those sneaky little tricks that mess with our brains and make us see things that aren't really there. Today, we're diving into some of those. So here's the deal. All of these plates are turned upside down. Or are they? Find the one that's turned the right way. Aha! Let me guess. Once you've found it, all the other plates turned the right way up, didn't they? Nope, this isn't magic. Just your eyes fooling you. Moving on. Take your attention and place it on this thing right here. Is your mind already confused? So what exactly is the illusion that's happening here? This is called the aperture problem. Your eyes might have thought that the lines are moving horizontally and vertically near the squares, almost like they're blinking. But if you keep your focus on the gray squares, you'll notice that the background is uniformly sliding down the scene. Hmm, chess. Is your team black, team white, or team these pieces are the same color? I know this will sound confusing, but all the pieces are the exact same color. Don't believe me? Let's take off the background. Better now? The pieces on the top row are the same as the bottom row. Your mind is one beautiful piece of machinery, but such a noob when it comes to expectations. Now, believe it or not, this optical illusion can tell you if it's safe for you to drive in the rain. Check out this image and see if you can spot the hidden sequence of numbers. Ready? Go! Did you come up with 3452839? If you did, your contrast sensitivity is top-notch. Contrast sensitivity is what allows you to see the outlines of small objects clearly. If this ability isn't well-tuned in your system, it's best to avoid driving in the rain or fog. This illusion is making people go crazy. Take a look at the image. Do you see squares? Keep staring, and we'll come back in a jiffy. If you saw something other than squares, congrats! You're part of the lucky few! This illusion is breaking the internet because some people can spot 16 hidden circles instead of those sunken squares, also known as coffers. Meet the Coffer Illusion, a finalist in the 2006 Best Illusion of the Year contest. It's a classic example of ambiguous stimuli, giving our brains visual info that can be interpreted in multiple ways. The coffer illusion makes us pick between competing interpretations, and it's totally mind-bending. There's an extra catch. The way your brain will interpret the stimulus depends on your personal past experiences. At first, we'll see rectangles because it's part of our daily life. But depending on your point of view, you'll quickly switch to seeing circles. Now look at this image for a moment and tell us how many bars you can count. This illusion has left the internet scratching their heads. Some people have counted up to 11 bars, but most land on 8 or 7. The creator of this tricky image says there are actually only 6 complete bars. Try counting from the top down and you'll see the upper bars are legit. But when you hit the 6th bar, things start getting fuzzy. That's because the last two bars are incomplete. When you try to count them, they seem to multiply, leaving you totally confused. If you trace your pointer down to the 7th and 8th bars, you'll see they're incomplete. They were just put there to mess with you. For this next experiment, you have to stare at this red dot for about 10 seconds. I'll tell you when it's over, don't worry. At first, your eyes will see a gray graphic city around the dot. Wow, what just happened? Even after the picture turns black and white, our brain is still able to perceive the original colors. This is an example of what's called an after image. After we fed our brain with a fixed image of something, when we turn it black and white, our brain is still trying to guess the colors of it. Now, how many different scenes can you spot in this image? Three? Four? Take your best guess. I trust you. Well, it's only two. You should be able to see the chalice in the first scene. And then, when you change your focus, you should be able to spot the profile of two faces with a white background. Moving on to the next one. 
I'm going to ask you to stare at this parrot's eye for 15 seconds. Just keep staring at it, like we did with the last image. You're about to witness another great example of an after image. Three, two, one. And close your eyes. Can you still see a red parrot? Isn't it amazing that even though this parrot is black and white, you have the illusion of seeing the color red? Again, this is just your brain trying to guess the color of something. Let's try another one. Stare at the cross in the middle of this image for 10 seconds, starting now. Did all of the colors from the image fade away and all you could see was a white page? Bizarrely, our brain just erases all the nuanced colors and leaves you with a white screen. This next one is pretty bizarre. Keep staring at this bunch of tiny dudes trying to escape some imaginary threat. Can you see what's the illusion here? Yeah, it took me a while to figure it out too. The illusion is that it looks like these little dudes are moving forward. It looks like they're leaving the scene one by one, but in reality, they are stationary. This illusion is created by the shifting colors on the foreground. Our brains are so easily tricked, my, my, my. Now, ready for another one that will ruin your brain for good? Take a look at this baby right here. Oh my god! It looks like a Mobius strip, some kind of eternal loop, right? But if you stare at it long enough, you'll see that it's a wholesome image. The three-dimensional view makes it look like the infinity symbol looping around. I swear, my brain will need to take some time alone after this video. OK, have a look at both images. Can you tell if the circle on the right is larger than the circle on the left? Believe it or not, these two circles are the exact same size. This illusion is known as the Ebbinghaus illusion, and it was discovered by a German physiologist in the early 1900s. We can assume that his name was Ebbinghaus. One of the possible explanations for why our brain glitches when looking at this image is due to the size of the external circles. Since the circles on the right are much bigger, they make the one on the right look smaller than the one on the left. Let's move on to the next illusion. Take a look at this image carefully. Don't worry if little black dots start appearing out of nowhere. That's part of the game. And are they disappearing too? Yep, that's totally normal. This illusion is part of something called the scintillating grid illusion, or the Hermann grid illusion. There are several examples of this one on the internet. This illusion shows us one of the most important principles of human perception. You don't always see things for what they really are. The retinal cells in our eyes act as light receptors. When only one receptor gets illuminated, it perceives more light than when its colleagues are also illuminated. This prevents the firing of nearby receptors. With the Hermann grid illusion, the white lines are arranged in such a way that there's more light around the intersections than along the lines themselves. Okay, let's wrap this up with one final illusion. We have what looks like a gray bar moving up and down on an orange background. But if you stare at this little black dot, you may see the gray bar turn into a different color. What color do you see? Did you say blue? Yep, that was it. Good for you. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.